What's up everyone and welcome to the club. My friends over at Sanford, the makers of Sharpie pens, just sent me these two care packages. The first box was filled with these Sharpie pens, the same ones that I use on this channel, and it's literally a year's worth of pens. The second box was filled with these limited edition Sharpie color burst pens. I'm super grateful for this generous gift, so thank you very much Sharpie. I'm going to save these color pens for another project, so for now, let's grab one of these black pens, because today we're going to be drawing torture from Roblox. Let's get started by drawing the front of the gas mask. So in the center of our page, we're going to draw a circle. Starting from the top, let's work our way down towards the bottom of the circle. And then pull that back up towards the top. Now we're going to trace our circle along the inside. So let's start back at the top. We'll step down. Just going to leave an even space gap all the way around towards the bottom. And then pull that back up towards the top. Now we're going to move out to the side of the circle and draw two straight lines going up. So let's start with the left side. And pull this up to right about there. And go to the right. And we'll do the same thing, coming up to the same height. Now let's close off the top. We're going to go back to the left side. I'm going to draw a half circle. We're going to go up, round up the top, and then pull that down on the right. Let's move out to the side and draw two circles for the eyes. Now we're going to go up against the edge of the ventilator. It's going to go around towards the top, come down the side, and bottom, and then just pull that back in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we draw a slightly smaller circle on the inside. We're going to push it towards the inside of the eye. So let's start back on the left. I'm going to leave a trim going around so it gets wider as we go to the outside. Come down and then just taper that back in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside of the eye. We go all the way around. Come down. And we'll just pull that in towards the inside of the eye. Now we're going to move up and draw a straight line going across above the eyes. So we'll start on the side. Draw a straight line going across from left to right. And then we'll round out the side of the head and then pull this in behind the side of the ventilator. Let's start on the left. It's going to go out, round out the head, and then just pull that in. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. We're going to go out, round out the head, and then pull that in. And then we'll tuck the edge of the hat in behind the head. So from the top corner, we're going to step down, draw a short angled line going up and out, line this up on the right. Do the same thing. Now we'll pull this up and in with a short line. Let's close off the top of the helmet. We're going to start back on the left. We're going to draw almost like a half circle coming back down towards the right. So we'll start out here, go up, round up the helmet, and then bring that down on the right. Let's move down and draw on the side of the body. From the left side of the ventilator, we're going to step out. We're going to curve out and then down towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. We're going to go out and then down towards the same height. Let's close off the bottom. Starting back on the left, come down, round this out, and then go up on the right. Now we're going to add two thick stripes coming down the side of the body towards the belt. So we're going to start on the left side, just underneath the ventilator. Draw a straight line coming down just up above the hips. Go to the right side and do the same thing. And now we're going to move in and draw another straight line coming down towards the bottom. And then we'll add that thick stripe along the bottom. Let's start on the left side. We're going to follow the same curve of the body going out and then up. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll connect the inside with that same curve. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we're going to move down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Now, leaving a gap in the center, let's go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now, we're going to round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the heel, I'm going to curve the foot coming down, and then we'll bend that up towards the toe. Do the same thing on the right. 
Now going back to the left side, let's draw the top of the foot. From the toe, we're gonna curve up. Just gonna round this out, just aim towards the heel. We're gonna stop right about there. Do the same thing on the right, going up towards the top of the foot, and then bending that down. Now I'm gonna go back up to the hip and draw on the side of the leg. Let's start from the left hip, and curve the leg going out, and then pull that straight down on top of the foot. Let's add the edge of the boot. From the top of the foot, we'll step up, starting from the outside of the leg, curve down and then up. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And now we're going to move up and draw the bottom edge of the shorts. We're going to follow that same curve, starting from the outside, come down and up. Line this up on the right and do the same. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. Let's start with the arm on the left holding the flamethrower. So from the top of the body, we're gonna step up underneath the head. Let's curve the arm going out and then down towards the inside of the elbow. And then from here, we're gonna curve the forearm going out and then up towards the wrist. And then we'll curl around the thumb. From the wrist, we're gonna curve up, round up the top of the thumb and then come down. Round up the tip of the thumb and then go back up. And then we'll add the palm from the top of the thumb Come down and then hook that in. Now the index finger is going to sit on top of the thumb. So let's start here and draw an oval. Going around and then back in. And we'll tuck two small half ovals in behind that finger and thumb. So start down here, curve around, down and then up underneath the thumb. Let's do that one more time. Going around and then up. Now the flamethrower is going to be pointing up towards the left. So let's start with the handle. Starting at the bottom of this finger, come down in the angle, pull this down and in, and it will follow that same angle line going up underneath the thumb. Now we're going to go up to the top of the index finger, draw a straight angle line going up and out. Let's flatten off the end with a straight angle line. And we'll follow that same angle line coming down and in just up above the thumb. Let's pull this down in behind the thumb. Coming down and then in. Now from that top corner, we're we'll going to step down and draw two straight angle lines. Coming back. We'll overlap those two lines with a straight line going across. Let's flatten off the ends, two short lines and we'll close off the back with a straight line. Let's go back up to the top. From these corners, we're gonna step in, draw two straight angle lines, going up towards the tip of the flamethrower, and we'll close off the end. And then from that top corner, we're gonna step down and draw a small half circle. Now we're gonna trace the outside of the index finger for the trigger. Let's start up here. Go all the way around and then tuck that in. And then we'll add that canister. Starting down here, start with a straight line just underneath the gun. Come down and out two angled lines. And we'll close off the bottom. And we'll add two lines inside this gap one on the top and then one on the bottom. Let's move back down and finish off the arm. Underneath the handle, we're going to curve the palm, coming down, and then bending that up. Let's move back out, curve the bottom of the arm, coming down, rounding out the elbow, and then pull that up underneath the body. And then we're going to draw on the edge of the glove. From the wrist, we'll step down, curve down, and then bend that back out. Now we're going to move over and draw on the right arm, starting halfway down the side of the body, Curve out and down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we'll draw a small half circle for the thumb. And at the end, we'll add a bracket. Let's add in three fingers. Starting at the bottom of the thumb, come down, then bend that up around the bracket. Step down, curve the second finger going around and then up. And then the third finger, we're gonna go out, then the arm going up and then in underneath the head. And then from the top of the thumb, we're going to step up and draw the edge of the glove. Going up, bending that out, 
And that's pretty much it. There's the torture skin from Roblox. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.